In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble this 3D printed geometric purse that I designed. Now, if you're into 3D printing, you have for sure seen those vases that are geometric, but this isn't just a geometric vase with a chain on it, folks. This actually has a hinge, and when you open it up, there are three card holders and a compartment for your smartphone, so it's super organized. And I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to assemble this, so let's get started. Here is what you will need to assemble the geometric purse. A drill with an eighth inch drill bit, pliers, wire cutter, standard scissors. Notions you will need include 12 gauge wire, super glue, any will do, purse chain. I recommend 26 inches or 66 centimeters. Definitely not less than 16.5 inches long or 41.9 centimeters. You can find these on Amazon. The one I am using is from Emmeline and I will provide a link below. And finally, you will need these magnet snaps from Dritz. These are 3 fourths inch square. They are generally available in all fabric stores or you can buy it online. I will put a link below. There are only two STL files you will need to print, the main body and a lid. When printing, be sure to include auto-generated supports if using an FDM printer. Removing the supports will be the toughest part, especially in the hinge and where the magnet snaps go. Most supports can be easily removed by hand. Pliers are really helpful. The supports inside the card holder can be pried out with scissors. To remove the supports in the hinge, you can very, very carefully use a drill. Cut out a piece of wire that is about two and three fourths inch or seven centimeters. You'll need to straighten out the wire. Pliers will help out with this. The length should be slightly shorter than the distance across the hinge, since you don't want any wires to stick out. Now, we are going to put in the magnet snap. The snap with a hole goes on the bottom and the other one goes on the lid. Make sure the prongs are straight and fit in and are perfectly flush. Make sure there are no supports inside. Apply super glue on the prongs. Toothpicks are very helpful. Place, let it dry for a day. Now that the glue has dried, fit the wire in the hinge. You may have to hammer it in and take out extra supports you didn't see before. Apply super glue on the ends to keep in place. Finally, secure the chain on the holes on the sides. Congratulations, you now have a really unique purse.